I just bought it because it was going up. I ended up buying it here and then flipped out half here and I brought that stop up the animations uh, backwards on here, but the, I brought the stop up to break even. And I actually, let, it got, actually got away from me a little bit. I forgot to raise the stop. So I got out at a tiny loss on the first loaf, but overall I did okay. And uh, here's the trades down here, you can see. And went in with a market order when it was breaking out. And then a limit order at right here, 239. So it was a 20% IPT. And lately, just because it's so damn volatile, I've just been putting it at 20% IPT. And I think eventually you're gonna have, I'm, I'm gonna have to work harder with the volatility to 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 do more reasonable IPTs. Like I don't think you can put in a 20% IPT now in Bitcoin. The other thing I did was, as I've been saying lately, the inner nerd in me, of course, looked into Bitcoin mining. And it's a lot of it's 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 not as, as easy as it looks. And and oh well, I'll get this machine makes twenty dollars a day. Well that machine's gonna cost you ten thousand dollars and that twenty dollars a day does factor in electricity but depends on where you live it might only make ten dollars a day and then keeping that thing running they're high maintenance also the the life cycle on them is is not that long and on top of that the technology moves so fast you could go on ebay right now and buy brand new asic miners for 199 dollars and I think that's shipped. The caveat is they're like S3 ant miners or whatever they call them. And you would lose about $7 a day or $5 a day, depending on your electricity costs running that thing. So anyway, a lot of, lot of issues with the, with the mining, so to speak. So what I've been toying with is, is there a way to kind of mine these through trading? And what I've been doing is if I make Let's say in this case, put a th put a thousand in, and I'm e immediately up like two hundred dollars, and I'm taking half off. So I'll take fifty dollars and stick it on the side. And that might be a little bit much based on the on the profit that I'm looking for. But the idea was to take off a little bit and put aside put it aside, so to speak, to like mine these things. So fifty dollars, if you had a miner running. That might take you weeks or even a month or, or longer, provided that doesn't break and all that other good stuff. How do you work the orders for IPT and stop? Well, what I do, and this isn't the ideal thing, and this is another one of my issues I have to have to deal with, is, and I do the same thing in stocks too on the intraday trades. As soon as I put the order in, I immediately calculate what my limit is going to be, and then I kind of eyeball where my stop should be on the position. So I don't know if these are in chronological order. They might not be. So you can see I bought it. Okay, here we go. So look, I bought it at, at 199 okay? So 20% higher is 239 on that, okay? And then my stop was at 180 Now, I haven't done the whole math on this, but I just figured this thing took off it shouldn't come back to 180. And fortunately for me, it went to 239 first before it came back in. Now, keep in mind, and I'm just kind of seeing this as I'm going through it, and, and I've been thinking about it a little bit too. The 50 bucks, I guess, is a lot if you're only taking $100 in profit. But the idea is to let the rest of the position run to, to free roll. And we'll take a look at my open positions in just one second. So again, I mined off 50 bucks out of the position. And what I'm doing is I'm copying those over or, or moving those over and I'm either staking them, which I'll talk a little bit about in one second, or I'm just hanging on to them in another account if they can't be staked. And I think you could actually lend these out. I don't know how much you need per coin to lend out. You might be able to make a little money doing that. But anyway, these, so what's kind of interesting here is, and I just saw this right before I went live. So this was $50 this morning and now it's $35, okay? So you can see that it's it's not, it, it's deteriorating real quick. Now, let me show you 
couple of more things. So that so you can see again, and these aren't too hot in here too. So these are the ones I've kind of mined, so to speak, over the last couple of weeks. Now I just did some screen captures from earlier, and you can see that on some of these they're way more than fifty dollars. Now there's two things that have happened. This crypto.com obviously was hot over the last few days. And I was able to go in and out at least a couple times. So that's a couple of 50s, right? And this might have a little bit older trade in there. Although I think this particular account has only been open for two weeks. So that one's somewhat substantial. Now here's my thinking in this. And the trader in me, and I've been noodling with this a lot. Like, what am I gonna do? Uh, am I really gonna be able to sit on this? And, and I don't know. And, and, and like I said, this account's only been open a few weeks. And over that period of time, I, I mined, so to speak, about $3,000 worth of crypto, okay? Now, I have losses, believe me, and, and today had a drawdown, and so I do have losses, so don't make it look like, I don't want to say, like, put the clickbait out there, like, hey, you know, this miner was free, and I made $3,000. It, it's a little more complex than that. And when this was only a few hundred dollars or a thousand bucks, I was thinking, yeah, let's just let it go forever, but now that's two, three thousand $3,000, or once it got to about two thousand dollars or so, did it, did it begin to think this is really accumulating? But my thinking is, if this bull market continues, okay, and something really takes off, then I'm going to have a piece, albeit a, a somewhat small piece. But let's say this Elon, I've got eighty-one million coins. <laughs> I know it makes you sound like you're somebody special. I had a billion of them, I think, a while back, or was it Shiba had a billion in? I forget. But, you know, I'm not bragging, it's the big deal. <laughs> anyway, my thinking is maybe by mining these off, I could sit on them and, and see what happens. Now, something that's interesting is on some of these, you can actually stake them. And I don't fully understand how staking works, but basically you, you tie up your crypto and you let other people use it, so to speak, uh, for proof of stake. And if you Google that, you'll know a lot more about it than me. I don't get caught up too much in the details. But these are the ones over here that have been staked. And in some cases, like the Seafool, and I know it, it's it's probably all BS, but the annualized yield on this thing is 100%. So if you're willing to tie up your crypto now, what if it goes down 50%? I don't know. Maybe you break even if it does. But this is just an experiment I'm trying, and it's gonna be really hard for the trader and me to hold on to these things, you know? And I have, I'm already thinking about how would I rebalance, you know? And maybe if I could just hold off and, and rebalance quarterly. And it, what's interesting is the ones that I thought would make it, like this OMG, I seem to remember that being a pretty good one to trade. But I can see down here that 50 bucks, at least 50 bucks went in, and now it's worth 22. This SLP, whatever that is, uh, smooth lotion potion or something. <laughs> stupid, you know? So if you're, if you're not trading these and you say they're stupid, I agree with you on the not trading them. No, by the way, the if you're not trading because you don't trust the exchanges, then yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that. I trust these exchanges about as far as I can throw them. And like I said, last week, a week before, if you're new to this, not that, you know, please don't take my advice as a, a financial advice. Talk to your financial advisor who's going to tell you not to do this, right? But if you want my opinion, I think something like Coinbase, which is publicly traded, would probably be under more scrutiny than a foreign exchange like the one I used here. You're not going to get a lot of these shit coins on Coinbase. And in some cases, maybe that's a good thing, you know, because if you look at this one here, I mean, I guess I got lucky, but it's worth half of what I put in here. Anyway, so that's the, the mining, so to speak, that I've been doing a little bit outside of trading, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to stay in my wheelhouse, which is trading, and then generate some of these cryptocurrencies and kind of mine them, so to speak, as opposed to setting up a, a, a crypto mining form.